Archbishop Edward A. McCarthy High School is dedicated to the formation of tomorrow's leaders through a Roman Catholic experience that provides excellence in atmosphere, academics, the arts, and athletics. Our vision is to be one of the most innovative, influential, and accomplished Roman Catholic schools in the nation. Good morning. My name is Sophie Danner. Please stand for our morning prayer and pledge. Today is October 8th, Friday of the 27th week in Ordinary Time. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, bless the teachers who give their heart to teaching. Thank you for the special gift that you have given them, and for giving a spirit of grace and compassion. May they have strength and endurance to perform their many tasks, and may they know and feel the deep gratitude of those whom they teach. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please turn to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Mavericks, and happy Friday. My name is Lauren Kim. And I'm Bella Cannon. Today is October 8th, and we will be running on a regular A through C period schedule. We have an exciting show for you guys today, filled with homecoming, a class project, and penguins. Huh? Don't worry, you'll find out soon enough. Let's kick things off today with the Map Sports Minute with Christian. What's up Mavs? I'm Christian Rosado and welcome back to another weekly edition of Mavs Sports Minute. To start things off, we would like to congratulate the men's and women's swim teams on their amazing performances last week at the Tri-Meet against American Heritage Plantation and American Heritage Del Rey. Both teams defeated American Heritage Del Rey, but unfortunately fell short against Plantation. Our top scorer for the Lady Mavs was Seven Walker, who won the individual 50-yard and 100-yard freestyle. As for the men's team, Nathaniel Garrick placed first in the 100-yard backstroke and second in the 50-yard freestyle. This past Monday, the swim team also defeated Poznak High School swim team in a dual meet. Our Maverick swimmers dominated the meet by winning 21 out of 22 events. Shout out to Michaela, Johanny, Nathaniel, Seven, and Pedro, who, won e who each won two events. Great job, Mavs. Heading on over to bowling, our men's team defeated St. Thomas Aquinas two games to one, which improved their season record to 7-0. Cole Boysver and Hunter Moore led the way for the team, with them both having scores over 195. Incredible job, Mavericks. Before moving on to sports outside of McCarthy, we would like to take a moment and recognize the side of sports that takes place off the field and off the court. Congratulations to our Maverick cheerleading team on their fantastic 2021 Cancer Awareness Spirit Shirt Fundraiser. The girls managed to donate $1,200 to the American Cancer Society as a result of this fundraiser. Well done, Lady Mavs. Over in the NFL, this past Sunday night, Buccaneers quarterback Tom Brady finally made his long-awaited return to Foxborough to face off against the New England Patriots. When Brady first stepped onto the field, fans greeted him with a warm cheer to welcome back their former franchise quarterback. However, once the game started, the boos came rolling in. During the game, Tom Brady passed Drew Brees to become the NFL's all-time leading passer. Towards the end of the game, New England missed a potential go-ahead field goal, with, which allowed Brady and the Bucks to run away with the victory 19-17. Heading on over to the MLB, the Boston Red Sox defeated the New York Yankees 6-2 in the American League wildcard game. With this win, they will advance to face the Tampa Bay Rays in the Divisional Series. That's all for this week's edition of Mav Sports Minute. I'm Christian Rosado, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, Christian. Mavericks, we are only two weeks away from homecoming week. Be sure to go all out for these theme days and coordinate with your friends. Remember that all outfits must be Catholic school appropriate. On Monday, you may dress as a monster of your choice. Some great examples include Frankenstein, a mummy, a vampire, or even Mike and Sully from Monsters, Inc. On Tuesday, dress as a piece of candy. Team up with other Mavericks and show us something new. Some good candy costume ideas include M&Ms, Dolly Ranchers, Sour Patch Kids, and Nerds. A reminder that Wednesday, October 27th is a mass day and students must be in full McCarthy uniform. No costumes or non-McCarthy wear will be permitted. Getting back to the fun, on Thursday, dress as zombies through the ages, pre or post zombification. 
To make things interesting, we suggest freshmen come as babies, sophomores as teenagers, juniors as working adults, and seniors as senior citizens. Additionally, Friday is when you go all out and dress up in your grades colors, shirts, or even as your not-so-scary movie character. That's right. Each grade level has been assigned a movie as their class theme. Last week, we took a look at the freshman theme, Ghostbusters. Shout out to all my fellow sophomores because our theme is Scooby-Doo. And with that, let's take a look at this week's Friday feature. The upperclassmen themes are Halloween Town for juniors and Coraline for seniors. Which grade will have the most school spirit? I guess we'll have to wait and see. My grade for sure. Hey, hey, hey. Do not underestimate the class of 2022. Moving on, there are so many exciting things happening in the music industry right now. For starters, Harry Styles is performing at the bb &T Center today for the first time in over three years. I have some friends who are going and they are beyond excited. Same here, and speaking of the bb &T Center and live music, tickets for this year's Y100 Jingle Ball are dropping today. Don't even get me started on the lineup, because this year is just top tier. For a full rundown of all of this and more, stay tuned for next week's edition of Entertainment with Olivia on Monday. I have a question for you, Bella. What did you say about penguins earlier? Oh yeah, as a special Feel Good Friday surprise, check out this video. And just like that, my day has been made. Coming back to McCarthy News, on Wednesday, September 13th, all 9th, 10th, and 11th grade students will be participating in the National PSAT testing. Seniors will not have school that day. Testing starts promptly at 7.56 a.m. and dismissal will be at 12.30 p.m. Lunch will not be served. Students must also know their email and mailing address. Per testing regulations, students are not allowed to have cell phones, iPads, or other electronic devices in the testing room. Please make sure you are on time. Once testing starts, late students will not be allowed in the testing rooms. You should get a full night's sleep along with a good breakfast before the test. If you have any questions prior to the test, please contact your counselor. Pause for cause will be having their October meeting on Tuesday, October 12th from 2.40 to 3 p.m. in the iCatholic. The $15 club dues must be paid to be considered an active member of the club and to be able to attend the meeting. If you have any questions, please contact the moderator, Mrs. Holowinski at kholowinski at mccarthyhigh.org. Finally, today the cafeteria will be serving soup of the day, burger bar, and creamy spinach along with their other daily selections. And that's all we have for today's show. I'm Bella. And I'm Lauren. Have a great day and a wonderful weekend, Mavericks.